It's time for another good idea, bad idea. Good idea. I think you get the point that Luke has made tons of generalizations, created false narratives, spread false info, and cut context, whether intentionally or not, to make the situation appear worse. Bad idea. Whether I'm the cream of the crop or not, it's not up to me. That's up to the YouTube audience. What I put out there is what I put out there, and what I put out there is my opinion. And that's what commentary is. And that's what commentary is. And that's what commentary... You're so stupid! You're so stupid! You're stupid! It's just become a thing with you, Luke. It's happened so often that as I continue to watch your videos, I had to make myself more and more skeptical of any claims for fear of them being incorrect or blown out of proportion. And when the rest of your video is mostly just going over what other people say, it ends with your content being seen as misinformative, biased nothing that gets views because it's on a popular topic. Damn! When most of my videos don't need some deep dive to find the truth. When most of my videos don't need some deep dive. When most of my videos don't need some deep dive. When when, when most of my, my, my videos. Shut the fuck up! I think you guys get a general idea of where my direction for this video is gonna go. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Prisma Luke. At a glance, Luke is just like an extreme lefty that embraces the cancel culture. He fumbles the ball quite a bit, and he knows he fumbles the ball, yet he wants to use the defense of, it's just an opinion, bro. The problem with that is him, his fan base, and other people that spread his message around want to take his opinion as fact. It becomes a problem because that misinformation becomes slander and it becomes something that it can affect other people's lives. Such as when he got backlash for the whole pyro thing and he had to take down his videos. Notice how Luke will only ever take down videos or admit he did a fault whenever it's a big backlash. Like the, the whole Turkey Tom backlash, yeah he wasn't going to get out of that one. He needed to pull those videos for optics. The reason he pulled those videos down, by the way, is so that he can still look redeemable to the public. Optic game. Basically, if you take down the video and take a short hit to your paycheck, which by the way, Luke is going to make the money back for the videos he took down. You're, you're going to get that money back easy. And it's worth sacrificing a bit of that money in order to keep the optic game strong to make sure you look redeemable and okay in the public eye. Finally, the last point I want to make against Luke before I wrap this video up, I don't want to waste too much time on him. This whole thing with the looting the Dong and Rampa characters, so I don't know what it is with this Yandere Deb community, anti Yandere Deb fandom, but they always they seem to take such an offense with these Dong and Rampa characters for some reason. So basically, Dong and Rampa is like an anime thing, right? And it has a lot of waifu bait in it, right? But this is where the confusion starts. See, it's a really gray freaking area because you see a lot of cosplay chicks cosplay these chicks. Right, or, or these waifus or whatever, right? And and I gotta say, these cosplay girls, <laughs> yeah, they're pretty hot, <laughs> right? So it's a gray area because these these chicks be, be cosplaying as these, what Luke wants to call 15 year olds, right? So Luke always takes that approach where he's like, oh, all anime chicks are like, you know, that are like, you see where this is going, right? You guys see where this is going. So, by Luke's judgment and, and logic, he's just basically calling every anime fan that's into like waifus and stuff, like pedophiles. Like, by Luke's logic, literally, if you play Persona 5 or any of the Persona games where you, you know, date, like, On or, or Makoto or whatever the fuck, you're a pedophile in his eyes. Like, he doesn't want to say it because that's bad for business, but that's basically what he's fucking saying. I can't believe nobody's really caught on to this, and I can't believe nobody's ever calling it out. Like... Luke's not going to call out people except for Game Sleuth that, that approve of this shit, right? Like, you go to Nux Taku's videos, I'm pretty sure he's looted up like a waifu in the past. You go to Lost Paws, I know that guy has looted up waifus in the past. But does Luke take shots at them? No, he doesn't because Luke's a little bitch and he just goes ahead and he takes shots at people he knows he could get a dunk on. Because they're already on their weak phase. Like, Hopeless Peaches was... Whoever that is, whatever that is... <laughs> They were having a bit of a controversy, and so Lukey Baby saw, and he just swept up and went on the attack because he's like, 
I don't know. Luke likes to pick on people that have controversies or are stained and that he could take advantage of with his misinformation. And then that's what makes it even easier for him to be able to manipulate and control the narrative. It's very fucking obvious. Again, just stop making the, the definitive burial of Luke in his video. Go ahead and watch it. Definitely worth a watch. 25 minutes worth of seeing Luke just fabricate and be either a dumb shit that eats crayons and glue, best case scenario, or malicious, manipulative, two-faced, false propaganda posting dipshit at worst. So there's that. Anyway, that's all I got to say on the Luke matter. Luke, very complicated glue eater. Will he succeed in the YouTube landscape? Probably. A lot of the lefties are getting behind him and he seems to be embracing it as such. So, good luck to you, mate. Uh, keep being a piece of shit. You make the commentary mafia actually look redeemable, which is the sad part. And now, unfortunately, I tend to agree with Nicholas DiOrio when he says, You eat glue. Because, yes. Yes, you do. You eat glue, Luke. You eat glue.